Hey there, science fans. Today, we're diving into a country that's fighting a constant battle against water, the Netherlands. It's a land of tulips, windmills, and a whole lot of water. You see, a large chunk of the Netherlands is actually below sea level. That's right, below the ocean. So, how come the country isn't underwater? That's the million-dollar question we're going to answer. The Dutch have been dealing with water for centuries. They've had to learn how to live with it and, more importantly, how to manage it. And let me tell you, they've become masters of water management. We're talking about a country that has not only kept the sea at bay, but has also thrived in the face of this constant aquatic challenge. So buckle up as we explore the amazing world of Dutch water management and discover how they've turned a geographical challenge into a triumph of engineering and ingenuity. The story of the Netherlands is a tale of resilience and adaptation. For centuries, the Dutch have been locked in a constant battle against the encroaching sea. It's a story that dates back over a thousand years. Imagine having to fight for every inch of land, constantly building, innovating, and adapting to keep your head above water. That's the reality the Dutch have faced for generations. Through trial and error, they developed ingenious methods to push back the water and reclaim land from the sea. They built dikes, dug canals, and employed windmills to pump water, constantly refining their techniques over time. This wasn't just about survival. It was about creating a nation. The Dutch spirit of innovation and collaboration was forged in these watery crucibles. They learned to work with nature, not against it, to create a sustainable way of life. Their story is a testament to human ingenuity and determination, and serves as an inspiration for the rest of the world as we face the challenges of rising sea levels. One of the most remarkable feats of Dutch engineering is the creation of polders. Imagine taking a giant bathtub, filling it with water, and then magically making some of that water disappear. That's essentially what the Dutch do with polders. Polders are tracts of land reclaimed from lakes, rivers, or the sea. First, they build a dike around the area they want to dry. Then they use canals and windmills to pump the water out, creating new fertile land. This ingenious system has allowed the Netherlands to expand its landmass significantly. These polders are now home to farms, towns, and even airports. The next time you fly into Amsterdam, you might just be landing on what was once the bottom of the sea. While polders get a lot of attention, we can't forget the unsung heroes of Dutch water management canals and dams. These intricate networks act as the veins and arteries of the Netherlands, regulating water flow and protecting the country from flooding. Think of canals as the highways of water management. They crisscross the Netherlands, carrying water away from vulnerable areas and helping to drain the land. Dams, on the other hand, act like giant gates, holding back water and regulating its flow. They're strategically placed along rivers and coastlines to prevent flooding during high tides or heavy rainfall but their role goes beyond just flood prevention. Canals are also used for transportation, irrigation, and even recreation. They're an integral part of Dutch life, adding to the country's unique charm. The Dutch have truly mastered the art of living with water, and their canal and dam systems are a testament to their engineering prowess. Section five, windmills, more than just a pretty sight. When you picture the Netherlands, what comes to mind? Tulips and windmills, right? But those iconic windmills are more than just a pretty sight. They played a crucial role in the country's water management history. Centuries ago, before electricity, the Dutch harnessed the power of the wind to pump water. These majestic structures with their giant sails turning gracefully in the breeze were essentially giant water pumps. They stood tall over the polders, tirelessly moving water from low-lying areas to canals and rivers, keeping the land dry and arable. The Dutch ingenuity in using wind, a readily available resource, to power their water management system is truly remarkable. While modern pumps have largely replaced windmills for water management, these iconic structures remain a testament to Dutch innovation and their historical reliance on renewable energy. They are a reminder of the country's long-standing commitment to sustainable living. Section 6. Modern Marvels, Water Tunnels and Pumps While traditional methods like windmills and canals laid the groundwork, modern Dutch water management relies heavily on cutting-edge technology. Think giant underground tunnels, massive pumps and sophisticated computer systems. Water tunnels, some large enough to drive a car through, act as underground rivers, 
carrying excess water away from populated areas. These tunnels can transport vast volumes of water quickly and efficiently, preventing flooding in urban centers. Then there are the pumps, some powerful enough to move Olympic-sized swimming pools of water in an hour. These mechanical marvels are strategically placed throughout the country, working tirelessly to keep the water at bay. But it's not just about brute force. The Dutch also rely on sophisticated computer models and early warning systems to monitor water levels, predict potential floods, and coordinate their response. It's like having a high-tech brain managing the entire water system. Section 7. Nature's Defenders, Dunes on the Front Line. While we often focus on man-made solutions, it's important to remember that nature itself plays a crucial role in protecting the Netherlands. The Dutch coastline is lined with a natural defense system, sand dunes. These dunes, sculpted by wind and waves over centuries, act as giant natural barriers against the sea. They absorb the brunt of the wave's energy, preventing erosion and protecting the inland areas from flooding. But the Dutch don't just rely on nature alone. They actively manage and reinforce these dunes, planting vegetation to stabilize the sand and even adding sand to bolster their defenses. It's about working with nature, not against it, to create a sustainable solution. The Dutch understand that a healthy coastline is their first line of defense against the sea, and they're committed to protecting and preserving this natural barrier. Section 8. A changing climate. Adapting for the future. The Netherlands, with its long history of water management, is on the front lines of climate change. Rising sea levels and more extreme weather events pose significant challenges to this low-lying nation. But the Dutch are not backing down. They are at the forefront of developing innovative solutions to adapt to and mitigate the impacts of climate change. They're strengthening their dikes, designing floating houses, and exploring new ways to store and manage water. One fascinating approach is the concept of room for the river. Instead of trying to confine rivers within dikes, they're giving rivers more space to flood naturally in designated areas. This reduces pressure on downstream areas and creates valuable wetland habitats. The Dutch are also investing heavily in renewable energy, reducing their carbon footprint and promoting sustainable practices. They recognize that climate change requires a global effort, and they're sharing their knowledge and expertise with the world. Section 9. Learning from the Dutch, a global perspective. The Netherlands, with its centuries of experience, has become a global leader in water management. Countries facing similar challenges, such as rising sea levels and flooding, are looking to the Dutch for inspiration and guidance. From the Maldives to Miami, Dutch engineers and experts are in high demand, sharing their knowledge and helping to design innovative solutions. They're involved in projects ranging from building seawalls to developing early warning systems for floods. The Dutch approach goes beyond just hard engineering. They emphasize the importance of integrated water management, which involves considering all aspects of the water cycle, from rainfall to groundwater, and involving all stakeholders in decision-making. The world is facing unprecedented water challenges, and the Netherlands, with its innovative spirit and collaborative approach, is uniquely positioned to lead the way. Section 10. Sustainability. A legacy for generations. The Dutch commitment to water management is not just about surviving, it's about thriving sustainably for generations to come. They understand that managing water resources responsibly is crucial for their long-term well-being. They're constantly looking for ways to make their water management systems more sustainable. They're investing in water-efficient technologies, reducing water pollution, and promoting responsible water use. One inspiring example is their approach to wastewater treatment. Instead of just treating wastewater and discharging it, they're exploring ways to reclaim valuable resources from it, such as energy and nutrients. The Dutch are also promoting nature-based solutions, such as restoring wetlands and creating green spaces in urban areas. These solutions not only help manage water, but also provide ecological and recreational benefits. Section 11, the future of water lessons from the Netherlands. The story of the Netherlands is a powerful reminder that we can overcome challenges through innovation, collaboration, and respect for nature. As the world grapples with climate change, the lessons from the Dutch experience are more relevant than ever. Imagine cities designed to be resilient to floods, 
coastlines protected by natural barriers, and every drop of water treated as precious. This is the future the Dutch are working towards, offering hope and inspiration for us all. Their journey is a testament to human ingenuity and serves as a beacon of hope for a future where humanity and nature coexist in harmony.